We're going to come alongside, do a quick safety inspection on your boat, sir. You could have your uh, pleasure craft operator's card available. For the last three years, RCMP have been hitting the waters around the Okanagan to enforce boating safety. Reserve Constables Philip Boisineau and Al McKinnon are on patrol about 40 hours a week from Vernon down to a Soyuz. And it works. Number one thing we're looking for is uh, operator competency. We need to see that uh, the person operating the boat has had some type of boat training. Uh, the second thing we're really uh, uh, concerned about is that they have the correct size and number of Canadian approved life jackets on board their boat. We need to see uh, three Canadian approved life jackets, adult size. When lake patrols were first initiated, police found less than 5% of boaters could comply and pass a safety inspection. This year we're finding our compliance rate is up to uh, close to 10%. So we are seeing an improvement. Oh, I know what I had. I, from the uh, checklist that I follow, yeah. I have flares. But it's not just boaters that must comply with the Transportation Safety Act. Those using kayaks and stand-up paddle boards also have rules to follow. So you've got your life jackets. Do you also have a whistle or a watertight flashlight on board? No. Okay. While there have not been very many alcohol violations on Okanagan Lake, these two officers are always on the lookout. It's not illegal to have alcohol on board a boat. Uh, however, the uh, operator of the boat has to be able to pass a screening test at point zero eight, and uh, the charges under the criminal code are exactly the same for impaired boating as they are for uh, impaired operation of a vehicle. So make sure when you're out on the water, your boat is registered, you have enough life jackets for all on board, and watch for swimmers and others cruising the lake. Jen Zielinski in Kelowna for Castanet News.